Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is Buccal Bifurcation Cyst. Buccal Bifurcation Cyst is also called as Mandibular Buccal Infected Cyst. It is an inflammatory odontogenic cyst that typically appears in the buccal bifurcation region of mandibular first molars in the second half of the first decade of life. Infected cysts may be associated with pain. Etiology The inflammation may be induced by food impaction in an opening pericoronal pocket, that is pericoronitis. The obstruction causes fluid accumulation within the blocked pocket which leads to cystic expansion by osmosis. Additionally, enamel projection into the furcation area of the tooth is a predisposing factor. Clinical features. Age, most common in 6 to 11 years old. Sight, usually associated with the mandibular permanent first molar, occasionally the mandibular second molar. Symptoms, discomfort, pain, Tenderness, rarely suppression, swelling if inflamed and may be followed by facial swelling, localized abscess. Signs. Pulp is vital, that is associated tooth is vital. Teeth. Associated tooth is usually tilted. The apices are adjacent to lingual cortex. Size. May extend beyond the limit of the involved tooth. Impinge upon and displays the crypt of adjacent unerupted tooth. Expansion. The cyst expansion in buccal direction is variable. Frequently, the outer bony cortex is lost. Pocket. Periodontal probing will show pocket formation on buccal side of first molar. Radiographic features. Fine radio-opaque concave line as lower limit producing a U-shaped radiolucent lesion that appears superimposed over roots. Intact periodontal ligament space and laminar dura, increased prominence of lingual cusps due to tilting, apices tilted toward lingual cortex, intact inferior border of the mandible, periosteal reaction on buccal surface is seen, bony expansion, thinning and associated swelling of the buccal cortex is seen, displacement of adjacent unerupted teeth is seen. Histopathology. Non keratinized stratified epithelium with few layers of cells, exocytosis and spongiosis covering cyst wall that present moderate chronic inflammation, mainly composed of lymphocytes and plasma cells. Diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis. The diagnostic features are young, young age of the patient, mandibular molar sites. Buccal periostitis, usually vital pulp. Radiological diagnosis. Intact laminar dura with buccal expansion visible on radiograph. Laboratory diagnosis. Not so specific. Differential diagnosis. Dentigerous cyst, lateral radicular cyst, isnophilic granuloma, periodontal pocket, rheumatic bone cyst and periostitis ossificans. Management. Enucleation without the extraction of the involved tooth should be done. Livrac et al. successfully used a bone graft as an adjuvant treatment after enucleation and curettage of the cyst. Daily irrigation of buccal pocket with saline solution until complete resolution of lesion should be done. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.